Hey, hello and welcome to pod 15 of Let's Play Danganronpa. I am here in my zone, well, not in my zono's room, outside my zono's room. Let's go in. I guess I should just push the intercom button next to the door then. Ding dong. Yes. Good morning, my zono. Ah, oh, Nagi. Perfect timing. Perfect timing? Um, Nagi, I have a favor to ask. A favor? I was thinking about heading out, and I was wondering if maybe you would join me. I don't mind. Where are we going? Um, well, I was thinking there might be some kind of weapon here I could use to defend myself. Defend yourself? Whoever trapped us in here, we don't know when they might come out. Try to come after us. Whoever trapped us in here. Whoever created that wolf of murder. Whoever constructed this irrational scenario could indeed come after us at any time. That's why no matter what happens, I won't be able to protect myself. And so, if she wants to find a weapon... She can use for self-defense. In that case, I think I saw something she could use in the display case outside the gym. Outside the gym, right? Let's go! Again? Of course, I'm an expert. For fuck's sake, I'm kidding. I just had a feeling, that's all. Are my thought patterns really that simplistic? No, she's just fucking weird. That and the writers annoy me. Um, anyway, I should <laughs> head to the foyer outside the gym with my Zeno. Considering this is the one part of Danganronpa 1 that I don't like, I shouldn't really be complaining. The whole Esper thing. Danganronpa 2, on the other hand, has a lot more problems. Um, for all of you who find meandering about the Academy, I have good news. It's now possible for you to cast Malice Teleport from the map section of your Electra. Yeah, I don't want to do that, though. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Why is everyone so tall? When are we going to the hall outside the gym? Yeah, you're right. Hurry up, let's get going. That's all you're going to say. Okay. You're just going to say nothing again? Good morning, Aggie. Morning. Yeah. You're saying to the same thing. Um. What's this for? Ooh. Ooh, new area. Hey, um, no, that's not so gymnasium. Oh, for fuck's sake, bitch. Hey, look, I think that's the room that I was looking for all of this time. Yep. Hey, Junko. Naegi. Oh, it's just you and my son. Are you you on a date? You on a date? What? Someone who looks so shy, you must feel move quick, Naegi. That's not it, I'm Naegi's sidekick. She denied it so nonchalantly. Kind of... Uh... What? Sidekick? Is that like some new... A new kind of fetish? <laughs> wow. Why do fetishes come up in every game I play? I mean, it's not my fault. Either I mention them, or the game mentions them. Actually, I'm lying. It's only happened in here, and when I mentioned in The Last of Us. Though, that was like a week ago. Um, hey, don't mind me, not my business if you're into that sort of thing. Well, enjoy yourselves. We should get to the gym quick. Yes, we should. Alright. Alright, so, Monomart, I think, is the thing that I've been looking for. Can I not do anything with it? Yeah, shh. Hold on, read manual. Surely by now you've managed to collect a few of the small medals hidden around Kibigami and Academy. Yes, I've got five, I do believe. These mysterious treasures, conveyed by kings and peasants alike, are called Monokuma medals. You just you can see just how many Monokuma medals you have collected from within your electronic ID. 
Ah, uh, shit, sorry. Um, my, by in certain manner, you can acquire... Yeah, sure, let's do it. Oh, I have six. Um... What did I get? What the fuck is that? It's a sword. It's unlikely that I'm ever gonna get, like, a duplicate, so... Basically you use these for the free time events. Alright, and that's that. Hmm, it's probably time to head out. Alright, so let's just quickly check... Presents. Kiwagami in Ring, a school ring engraved with the Academy Insignia. A symbol of youth and friendship. Forehead glasses. Apparently, if you put these glasses on while casting a particular spell, you will be granted the ability to speak with objects. That probably goes well for Hagakure, then. A sword incapable of cutting metal, nor can it cut flesh. Frankly, it's pretty useless. A huge pop, a hugely popular caterpillar toy. Pull the string attached to the tip, and you can make it move almost like it's really alive. Fill it with water and blow. It sounds like a singing bird. Enjoy four days and three nights on the picturesque prehistoric island Moo. At least that's what the ticket says. Your award for completing the prologue at the small pin in the shape of the, of the Kibugami Academy School Insignia. Okay, right. Yes, I'm going to leave the room and I'm going to end the episode there. So, um, you've seen what I've got. I can't remember offhand what I've got. <laughs> Even though I just looked at it. But, um... When I get to the free time events, I'm going to stop recording and make sure I've uploaded all the videos. Because at the minute I've uploaded to part 5, and this is part 15, so you know. So when it gets to free time events, I'm going to stop upload. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to just upload all the videos. And then you guys can, like, if anyone does know who the best person to give a particular gift to is, that's really helpful. If not, then, you know, I'll just use the internet as usual. Oh, fucking hell. Hello. So, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Until next time, folks, see ya.